Hello and welcome to House of Chi Yoga. And today I want to do a little stretch for the neck, a little bit of movement and mobility for the neck and the shoulders. So we're not going to go too deep, but maybe five, ten minutes of some movement. Um, perfect for first thing in the morning or before or after some exercise. Probably better after some exercise. So let's get warmed up. Taking the shoulders back and away from the ears. And throughout this whole practice, uh, following along with your breath, focusing on the inhales and the exhales, trying to expand and go deeper with your breathing. Now keep the shoulders back and away, heart is extended forward, kind of wrap the shoulder blades in, wrap the elbows in, and then just bring the chin down towards the chest. Keep breathing into the upper ribs, breathing into the chest, and creating space across the collarbones. On the inhale, we're going to come back to a neutral spine and just take these little half circles. Your gaze is following, your gaze is going down across and up towards the ceiling. Notice if there's any limitations in the neck, if one side feels a little bit differently than the other. Just notice what's happening. Last one. And then coming back through center, take the hands out to the side, open and close the palms. And keep the palms open, fingers extending away from each other, and just slide forward and backwards. So we're staying in line with the shoulders. You can even add some spinal movement where you can lift and extend forward, and exhale and pull back. One more. Keep the right arm in line with the shoulder, and then the left hand is going to go out or down to the ground. Your right palm is going to rotate up and then back behind. So you're feeling that rotation all the way up into the shoulder girdle. Now keep that rotation, but gaze in the opposite direction. Oh, that is tight. Perfect time to find your breath. Bringing the gaze back through center. Lower the right fingertips to the ground. Take the left hand, thumb facing down to the right side of the neck. So I want to grip the neck and support it. I'm going to lift up and away from the shoulder and find a deep stretch all along the right, top of the right shoulder, underneath the collarbone, collarbone, and through the side of the neck. If you feel that right shoulder rounding in, pull it away. Keep breathing. And gently coming back through center. Just a little tiny movement, just micro movements, letting the spine adjust. And then let's bring the left side up. So the palm is active, the fingertips are working away from each other. Start rotating the shoulder. Feel that rotation go all the way up the arm bone, all the way into the shoulder. Maybe you feel your scapula pulling away from the spine. Feel the chest opening and expanding. Now keep rotating the gaze towards the right. Maybe one side is a little easier than the other side. This side is definitely easier for me than the other side. <laughs> Let's do one more together. And then bring the gaze back through center. The left hand goes down. Now the right hand comes across, thumb down. You support the side of the neck, and you're lifting up and away to create this big stretch. Don't let the left shoulder roll in, keep it out and away. Keep breathing. One more inhale. Exhale, release the right hand, bring the head back through center, and then again, just those little micro movements. Allow the body to move wherever it feels like it needs to move. And just kind of be intuitive with it. Now take your peace fingers to the backs of the ear, and we're going to go firm pressure just underneath the ear. And then you're going to pull the chin down towards the chest, kind of like you're making a double chin on yourself. And the fingertips are getting soft right at the jawline. So you're going to press into the jawline, keep drawing the chin down, let the mouth open and take a few breaths. Releasing the pressure. Travel with the fingertips down that long side of the neck muscle. I'm going to turn so you can see it. You go from underneath the ear and then add that sort of diagonal down to the inside of the collarbone. So let's keep doing that. And then from the inside of the collarbone, you're going to press away from the body. Great. Okay, now bring the hand 
things back in behind. So we're gonna bind them. Your intention is to keep the palms together. I really struggle with this one. My hands always pull apart. So I'm always trying to keep my palms together the whole time. If you have a difficult time even getting the hands together back there, you can use a towel, a strap, if you have a shirt or something to hold on to, anything to kind of create a little bit more space to open up the chest. So once we get whatever bind we're working with, we're extending the arms, whoo, that one is so tight, and we're externally rotating the shoulder girls. So we're lifting up tall through the sternum, make lots of space in the front of the body. Now when you breathe, you're just going deeper into that space. You can take a slight pace up. Softening again, shoulders away from the ears, softening down the neck muscles we just worked on. Worked on. And then bringing the chin back to neutral, letting the hands unbind or letting go of whatever bind you took. Softly let the arms go across the body. So while you're doing this movement, pull your navel to spine. And then coming back through center. Inhale, palms up overhead. Now you're going to interlace the fingers and do a double bind like we did on the side of the neck, but now both hands are going to the sides of the neck. And my pinky line is landing right at the hairline, right at the occiput. So now I can put the thumbs down, support with the pinky line, and lift up and away through the cervical spine. So the hands are holding the weight of the head and you're breathing. You can think about grounding deep into the sits bones, creating more space by lifting up and away. And then gently start pulling it back forward to neutral. We're going to do one more thing for the side of the neck. So we'll take the right hand to the right side of the head and keep the shoulder down. What we want to make sure we're doing is not pulling into our trap muscle and lifting everything up. We want to stay nice and soft in the shoulder. And we're going into the side of the neck muscle and down the back as we press the head into the palm. And the palm is just holding resistance. So if that shoulder's creeping up, work it down. Feel the activation all along the neck, all the way into the back muscles. Keep breathing. Rolling the shoulders back. Exhale, release the pressure gently. We're going to make a little Charlie's Angel shape with our, with our thumb and first finger. Take it down to the side, and we want to keep our arm locked out and long, right off the floor. So we want it reaching as far down as possible. And then we're going to pull it behind the body and look in the opposite direction. So think about creating space, stretch all the way through the right side of the face, into the jaw, side of the neck, front of the shoulder, and out the fingertips. Keep your teeth back and down. And then gently bring them both back towards center. And the left hand is just going to massage the right shoulder. So I like to use my thumb so I can get a lot of firm pressure in there right where the shoulder and the pec meet. Anywhere, massage anywhere. And then take a few movement circles, just some mobility circles, fingertips to shoulder. You can move forward, move backwards. You can move front, back, side to side. This is another one of those intuitive movements, just feel what the body wants to do. Okay, let's switch to our left side. So now the left palm is up, side of the head. Remember, you're working the shoulders down. You're keeping the chest nice and broad. You're pushing into the palm, so the side of the neck muscles, all the way down the spine. Keep the shoulders down. Keep the lats down. If you need to, close your eyes. And focus on what you're trying to activate. Notice that there are certain things that are activating that you're trying to soften, like the shoulders back and down. Take a couple more breaths here. And then let's gently release. So you're taking that first uh, thumb again, down to the side of the hip, and you're reaching, reaching, reaching away from the body. Now you're pulling it behind the body and working the upper body, the head, in the opposite direction. So it's a stretch all along the left side, down to the fingertips. Keep reaching, don't let the left arm go soft. Gently come 
back towards the earth. Woo. Right side, massage through the left shoulder. We'll do one more for the back of the neck. So this time you have, um, you can take one hand or both just to keep it equal. I always use both, but I'm basically just holding the hands at the back of my head and actively pushing them back. So it's that same kind of double chin tuck, but you're using the back of the neck muscles this time. So sink both shoulders down, press into the palms, find the resistance. If you need to, again, close your eyes, find the neck muscles. Feel the spine elongate, keep the sits bones pushing down. A little firmer push. Take one more inhale. And then exhale right away. This time we're just going to gently tuck the chin to the chest. I'm using very, very gentle pressure from the hands. I'm going to slide the chin right to left, but I'm not using my neck muscles. I'm guiding the movement with my hands. center. We're going to shift into Malasana for our last movement. So the heels are in, especially if you're already seated. You just tuck the heels in, toes down, and use your hands to walk yourself forward. If you're seated on a big comfy pillow like me, even better. Now my butt can stay supported and I'm just in my Malasana stretch. So now we're going to go through the whole back fascia line, wrapping around the crown of the head. So as my sits bones are pulling down, I'm pulling my squat, my energy, my weight is shifting down. Now I'm going to lift up through the crown of my head and pull it down as well. So I want to be working both from my sits bone, tailbone down, and from the crown of my head down. So I'm getting a stretch from both directions. So you won't be able to see my face or anything, but make sure that you're breathing and you can give yourself some gentle pressure with the fingertips. I like to also use my elbows to push my knees wide just to make sure I'm also getting a hip stretch. And you'll feel the sensation along the back. You'll feel the sensation maybe around the crown of the head, maybe wrapping into the glute muscles. So let's take about five deep breaths there. We're going to go a little bit deeper, one more breath. And then release the hands so there's no resistance on the neck and slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Wonderful. Ooh, I hope you feel better. That was just a little quickie, um, but that's a great thing to do in the morning, a great thing to do in the evening. It's a really great thing to do every day to keep those neck and muscle, uh, excuse me, the neck and the shoulder muscles active and also stretchy. So have fun with that one and I sure hope you use it.